Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Financial Management. I am Sianu Jalota. We are on a mission to be helping the students across India to achieve their dream of becoming a chartered accountant by paying no extra money. For that, first thing that we all did, we put all the MCQs of CA Inter costing on our YouTube channel. We put one video for one MCQ. The reason we wanted to explain everything in depth. Second, we came out with complete lectures of CA Inter costing and we are still doing that on every Saturday, Sunday. These are complete lectures with soft copy of our colored books. Apart from that ranking of every question, the rating of every question. There is a test that is done at the end of each and every chapter. All these things do ensure that a student can easily be getting 90 plus. The third thing in series, we had to be doing financial management MCQs also. That's what we all are doing. Just before I continue, in case you wish to be joining my complete latest batch okay, of CA Inter, please read the description below. Let's start it off. The question for today is from the chapter of capital structure. Okay, capital structure is all about that a company wishes to raise the money. It wants to be raising the capital. How should it raise the money? There are majorly three sources, right? Your equity, preference and debt. Debt is the most riskiest source, but equity is the most costliest source. Okay, we all are aware of that. This question is all about something called as EBIT EPS indifference chart. We all have done that. We all have done questions also on that. Let's study the MCQ part of that. An EBIT EPS indifference analysis chart is used for, okay, bring me the four options please. A. Evaluating the effects of business risk on EPS, okay. Second one. Second one, examining EPS results for alternate financial plans at varying EBIT levels, okay. The third one. Determining the impact of change in sales on EBIT, okay. Fourth one. Showing the changes in EPS quality over time. In case you all know the answer, this is the time to be commenting, please. Comment your correct answer below. Let's start it off. Now, for me to be explaining you all, one thing that will be required from my side, sir, what do you mean by EBIT, EPS? Indifference analysis. Now, what do you mean by indifference point first? Indifference point is that level of EBIT at which EPS is seen. Suppose you wish to be raising say 100 crore rupees. You thought plan 1, 80 crores by equity, 20 crores by debt. Okay. Second option, you thought 20 crores by equity, 80 crores by debt. So which plan is more risky? Plan 2. Why? Because there is more debt over there. Now, among both these plans, there will be an indifference point. Indifference point means that level of e, uh, EBIT at which EPS will be seen. Do remember companies prefer that option of raising the money where EPS is higher. All these things you can either solve it to get the indifference point or alternately you all can make a graph in this manner. Try to have X axis, try to have Y axis. On X axis, try to have your EBIT. On Y axis, we are going to be plotting EPS. Okay, now we are going to be having two lines over here. One for plan one, one for plan two. Plan one was a safe plan whereby equity was far more. Okay, now what you all can do, take any level of EBIT, okay, and work out the EPS under that plan. Okay, one level of EBIT will be giving you one EPS. Take another level, get another EPS. Okay, so keep on getting points like this and join them. That will give you this line. Okay, so therefore this line will be standing for Say plan 1. Similarly, do the same thing for plan 2 also. Okay. Now, this is slightly a more riskier plan, right? Now, these two lines will meet somewhere for sure. Yeah. Wherever they will be meeting, that will be nothing but indifference point over here. So, therefore, at indifference point, you will always be indifferent. Whether to go for plan 1 or to go for plan 2. Sir, why are we indifferent? Because EPS is same. Do remember that companies select that kind of an option where... EPS is higher. So therefore, if ever EPS is same, okay, if ever EPS is same, then in that case, companies become indifferent. Okay, that is one thing. But also to remember, above this point, some plan will be better. Below this point, some other plan will be better. Example, if I go above this black circle, okay, 
which line will be much higher plan 2 so plan 2 will be better because it will be showing higher eps and below this some other plan will be better like in this particular example it will be plan 1 over here so therefore this tells you like you know that at which level which plan is better for you okay and this graph can alternately be used for this purpose also suppose once you make this entire graph no okay then if you want to be working out EPS at any level of EBIT, suppose like, you know, I try to be thinking, let me try to be getting the EPS at uh, this level of EBIT for plan one. So therefore I make a vertical line like this. Okay. This is any level of EBIT example over here. Okay. This particular thing. I thought if this is the EBIT, what is going to be my EPS? So therefore from here, draw a vertical line and then try to be making a horizontal line. And therefore, this particular point over here, this particular point will be nothing but the EPS under plan one. Exactly. If you want the same thing, you can be doing under plan two also. It will keep on telling you what will be the EPS if this is a EBIT. Okay. Coming back to the question. An EBIT EPS indifference analysis chart is used for, I guess, out of the four options. First one, evaluating the effect of business risk on EPS. No, it doesn't measure the impact of business risk. In fact, it tries to tell. If this is a EBIT, this will be the EPS. I guess that thing is only given in point number B here. Examining EPS results for alternate financial plans. Correct. We have two plans at uh, varying EBIT levels. That is whatever I told you, I guess, towards the end. At different levels, it will try to tell you all the EPS. So as per me, that should be the answer. It's no point in reading C and D because they only talk of either EBIT or EPS. Okay. But here we talk of both those things. Okay. So answer should be B over here. That is the correct answer. That's it from my side. Uh, see you all next time and do spread. Yeah, we are trying to be doing good work for the students in getting concepts in a detailed manner, not in a shortcut manner, in a detailed manner. So therefore, once you watch, you do the things for your entire life. I'll see you all next time with another question. Bye.